hey welcome to the shadow effect within canva so this is the tutorial um, on this uh, shadow effect this is an effect that's been used uh, very uh, very wildly at this moment a lot of people are using this effect and I call it shadow 2.0 not because it's something new that I'm going to show you but the fact that when I look at an effect I look at an I look at, a, at an effect not just as an effect, but I look at the meaning behind it. I try to uh, find the meaning behind an effect. It's not all. It's not always easy. But if you look at this uh, one that I created with the share effect, I created the caterpillar growing into a butterfly, and I think it's really cool. That's that's growing for me. So that's that's the meaning behind this uh, effect that I created. So let me just get started. I think it's a very, uh, it's a relatively simple um, effect. It's not really hard to achieve uh, within Canva. So let me just uh, show you what I what I do. Let me go to first. I go to Elements, and let me just search for a butterfly first. Butterfly, and here's a butterfly. I'm gonna just grab the first one that I see. This is a blue, bluish, white, black uh, butterfly, and I'm gonna put it. A little bit I try to I'm gonna try to see if I can achieve the same position like this okay so I put the butterfly here and then we gotta have a caterp caterpillar so caterpillar and I'm gonna grab the same that I used let me see if it's that's the same right exactly the same image there you go it's the same caterpillar that I used uh, in my uh, example. So now that we have a caterpillar and we have our butterfly, we're gonna do the effect. So let me just click on the image and click on effects, remove background. If you don't have background remover, you can use remove.bg. Uh, to remove backgrounds this is uh, only available uh, in, uh, in Canva Pro so if you don't have that you can go to uh, remove.bg so let me apply so now that we have our caterpillar let me just push position the caterpillar in a way that it's a little bit more straight like this and let me see make it a little bit smaller so now that we have our caterpillar and we have our butterfly we want to make them um, we want to make it we want to make the shadow effect so let me put it a little bit higher like this let me see again okay this is awesome now we have our caterpillar here and our butterfly and we're going to create our effect this effect so what we're going to do is we're going to go to elements and you want to look for splatter it's one of the keywords that I use splatter okay so the effect the splatter effect that you want to be using has to be an effect that is um, not too hard like this is too hard it's too too splattery so you want to have like a subtle effect a subtle effect like this is a good one that we can use I'm gonna just put it right here we're gonna use it later and uh, make it a little bit smaller put it here uh, but we have to start with another effect just to create that um, white fadey look and what's important like this is a good one as well we can use it later as well just I'm putting the effects right here for just for later to use so let me see like this effect right here and this one this is the white that you want to be using in the beginning so let me so let me click on it so now that I have this like it's like um, it's black but, but what we want to do is we want to make it fade we want to make the the butterfly fade a little bit so let me just make it white because why do I make it white because the background is white and what I want to do is I, I want to create um, an effect where um, it seems like the butterfly is fading like like the the wing is fading also with the cat caterpillar you want to you want it to look like it's fading so now we put one layer I'm gonna click on control C and control V to put another layer on it okay again control C control V okay 
and it's getting more faded control C control V again control C control V and what you want to do is control C control V again if I zoom in you will see that like um, it's it's getting it's fading away and this is um, this is a technique that you can use to make the um, make the image fade away within the background so it's a very important technique that we use right now let me just control C control V again and I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because I don't want it to be completely over the wing over the butterfly so if you look at my design to be honest this design I, d I don't think it's perfect I think there's a lot of things that could be way better um, um, especially the, the effect that I use is too much um, the splattering is too much over over the butterfly so I don't like it it has to be um, it has to be more tight to one to one wing if you ask me so I made it real quick I think I did it within a half an hour or something but for this purpose I'm gonna just show you step for step okay again control C control V control C control V control C control V control C control V and I'm just showing you from just everything that I do because normally I would just grab like four or five layers together and just control C control V and make do it faster but for this purposes for the purposes of this tutorial I'm gonna just show it to you step by step so I'm just rem I'm removing the wing okay I'm trying to remove the wing control C control V control C control V again so the wing is now is gone you see let me just move move up a little bit you see that the wing is gone just because I use the white splattering okay so there's still a little bit of, there's still a little bit of uh, black here but it's, that's not a problem so you don't you want to do what you want to do right now is do it with the same thing with the caterpillar okay let me just control C control V and I'm gonna turn it around so the splatter goes the other the other side and make it a little bit bigger so what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna pause the video okay so now we have a beautiful fade away if you look at the butterfly it fades away the wing is like fading away and also the caterpillar the, uh, its its body is like fading away so now what you want to do is you want to add the colors to create that effect like this effect like the color is coming out also on the other side so how do we do it I grabbed uh, the layers all already that I wanted to use because this layer I like it because it goes from top to bottom like I'm gonna just cover let me let me put it to the because I used a lot of layers let me just position it to the to the front so it has to be on top of the other uh, layers and what I, what I try to do let me just zoom in a little bit I have to I want I wanted to cover the wing okay cover the wing like this uh, and give it the color of the butterfly just use one of the colors here okay so um, the colors will show under your um, yeah under your palette and also if you use the de the desktop version of Canva you will have a, a color picker so you can pick the color from the uh, from the butterfly but now we got to use some colors from the butterfly okay so this is the color that I'm gonna use just put it over and let me see if it's uh, I think it's I want to use maybe a little bit yeah we can we can we can mix it up like I'm gonna use light blue and what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna copy control C control V and I'm gonna turn this one like this is going up you understand what you understand what I'm doing here so there are if I let, let me zoom out so you can see what I, what I just created yeah it's it, it's not in the right color yet but if you look if you look good it goes from let me just put my mouse over here it goes from um, top to bottom like in a it's like a, a wave something like a moving wave okay so the color of the caterpillar is not blue so you want to make that like the caterpillar color let me see let me make it green let me look for a good green the, I like this this green 
okay and what I'm gonna do is this is one color okay and this is also one color you want to you want to add another color but you want to add it with a different let me just grab this one and turn it like in a way that is circling down from top so let me put it over here and in the in this butterfly I'm gonna look for the second color and the second color is black so let me just make it black and another black okay so now it looks like the colors from the butterfly are coming out of out, out, out of the wing so you're gonna do the same with the caterpillar so let me grab this control C control V and let me turn it up make it a little bit smaller and put it in here and this is gonna be orange so I like the orange and also there's a little bit black in the caterpillar so I'm gonna use black you don't there's not a lot of black in this um, in this player effect but now you you understand what I'm saying what's happening right here so now you have the effect like the the, the colors from the caterpillar are, are, are turning into the colors of the butterfly that's the effect this is the basis so now you want to look for uh, another splatter effect and if you go to the effect that we used, let, let me see if I can find it again um, let me see like this effect okay if I click on it there will be more effects you click on see all you will see uh, different kinds of effects okay like this one has multiple colors in it but this is this is not one that you can change color so let me remove that so you want to grab another one like this one and what you want to do is you want to um, add some let me remove this one as well you want to add some colors to the base like it's moving from um, butterfly to caterpillar like let me put it here and let, let, let me show you what I mean let me just make it a little bit like this and there are different colors that you can use so you're going to use the colors of the butterfly and especially one of the colors that you haven't used yet and you're just going to give also some colors of the caterpillar like this boom again butterfly colors and caterpillar colors once you've done these colors what you got to do is you got to top it off with some more white splattering to make it smoother because now if you look at my splattering it's like um, it's not as hard the colors are not as hard on top of the butterfly and on the caterpillar so you want to use some white to top it off so let me just go to elements and let me go to splatter again and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this splatter and I make it white and I'm gonna top it off on on top of everything on top of my effect okay like this boom control C control V again Control C, Control V, and Control C, Control V. Just do it real quick. So now you see the effect is getting better already. This is the effect, okay? This is the the the, the shadow effect. Now what I've done also, I I I created. I, I go really deep in into it. So I I I look for more layers, look for more splat splatter effects. But I think you get you get the gist. You understand what what I'm doing here. So just uh, go creative and what you want to do is focus on this area and just keep adding uh, small colors small effects and there are little there are uh, literally dozens of splatter effects that you can use uh, different types of um, effects that you can put like let me see what this what this will add uh, for instance you, you can add like um, splatter ink or whatever brush styles everything that you like and let me just add this bluish thing to it and it's just uh, a matter of trying things out so if I zoom in a little bit you will see that it looks like it goes from caterpillar to um, butterfly but this is something I'm not I'm not completely satisfied with it yet this is just beginning and if you want to get it if you want to really go to this um, this level of detailing you got to take your time and just go into it really deep and just 
take your time to create the effect so that's the uh, butterfly tutorial the shadow effect tutorial i wish you very good luck with it and if you want to show me your designs show it to me uh, within my um, free uh, group so i can uh, also give you some advice or critique your design and you will also learn a lot more stuff so down below you'll find the link thank you very much and have a great day and uh, have fun designing your caterpillar or whatever share effect you want to design